Okay, so we're in the process here of dissecting a bar. Um, now, one thing, you know, I was telling you about um, structural engineering principles. Um, and here's the thing you got to know. Any part of this foot here, back here, that gets shoved forward, well, it's going to shove the part in front of it forward. Just like on this. Okay? Um, if I push here, it affects this piece right here. Isn't that right? Okay, so what? one thing I wanted to tell you was that when these horn tubules get run forward like this, you have a constant pressure then on the hoof capsule of everything in the internal foot that's connected right here being pushed back that way, while everything in the toe right here is being pushed up, up this way. So it does just have the effect of like this. <laughs> okay, so um, this is why we need to get these horn tubules straightened out as much as possible so that they're bearing weight correctly um, for the internal foot. And, and you stop the, the cycle of distortion in the foot. Okay, so <clears throat> another thing that happens, okay, uh, these heels here, if you'll look at them, um, now they were too long for too long a period of time, and so uh, they bent slightly under, okay? Um, let's see if I can try to explain this. Okay, now what happens... Now well, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, what happens if, let's say, um, my heel got bent under? I'm trying to explain how this works because something went on in the bar here. I want you to notice. Basically, this heel got bent under like this. Um, the structural reaction that happened was that it pushed the bar up like that and what you have here I don't know if you can see it is it pushed the bar up here into an arc okay um, <clears throat> uh, what we want eventually see if, if this thing was soft I could just take it pull it out this way and straighten that out and bring that area down slightly um, let me show you the bar in the back foot See, the heel never got, the heel here never got bent under like that to where it pushed this part of the bar up in an arc like so. It's just got one smooth continual uh, line here. And so these bars were slightly impacted, um, not just due to the fact that uh, they might have grown up somewhat in here, growing up and shoving up, but because the heel actually got bent forward. See, it's as if I just could take this and bend it, what would happen? Well, then it would point up this way, right? Okay, so, and the effect that has is instead of it being nice and comfortable on the inner part of the collateral groove of the foot here, you have kind of a pointed piece that's jamming up into the foot right here. Okay, so I wanted to explain that. So that's good to know. When you're looking at a hoof, you look like this, and if it looks, if you've got a place where you can't get the foot level right here, there's like almost a, an arch right here. It's because this part of the hoof has bent forward and uh, has created an unlevel spot right here. So ultimately what we'd want is as we keep the heels lower, and the bars trim, we would hope this all would just like straighten out again. If I could, I wish it was soft, I could just go kind of whoop and kind of pull this out and straighten it out again, like so. Okay, so I wanted you to notice that, but we're going to continue with uh, dissecting our bars. Okay. Now, I still haven't gotten down or gotten rid of all the excess uh, sole right here, which 
in a trim I might not do that okay but we're dissecting the bar here we're not just uh, trimming okay so we're gonna keep continuing I might have to put on a different gloves so I don't slice the snot out of my finger okay now if you look real close you're gonna see where bar wall right here has gone over the sole right there I don't know if you can see that it's just a little different shade and you see a little bit different shape there that is bar wall there and there say it see right there that's a dirt line under there if we were to dig under there we'd find dirt see so what's under this wall right here sole okay that sole has to grow somewhere and so the tubules will lay over and grow different directions or it can grow up and in, in, into the foot a little bit or they'll usually shoot out and push the side out okay so this is not easy I'm trying to do this for you guys so I would see that there and I would bring my knife over here and I would try and lift that up off the sole like so okay now see that's still bar right here that is leaning over and growing over the sole because the bar wall is how thick do you see how thick it is it's not very thick at all it's right there <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna want to clean up get all that bar wool off the sole you know I try not to dig into the sole but I try and get up under the bar wall that has laid over and grown over the sole and again it's all the same color so it's hard to tell let me get this here now just take off in thin little swipes. There, okay. And I go slow and I examine it. See, it should get so that I see a clear white line, just like I would in a hoof, just like here. See the white line? It's kind of a little dirty looking right there, but. Okay, I should be able to get the same kind of line here. And that's why I call it finding and defining. See? It takes a while sometimes to find them because all this gets all grown and meshed together. Okay.